Hi there guys, Vino here and welcome to Vlogmas video 2. And yes, before you say anything, it is currently the 5th of December 2020 and I'm only on my second Vlogmas video. All I'm going to say to that, and uh, people may get, may get frustrated or used to these excuses over the next how many videos, but hey ho, whatever, I'm just going to say this. This has been a bit of a weird week. I'm not going to go into details. It's just been a bit of a weird week in, in some respects. Anyway, I'm going to get back on the horse that is making videos. I do need to put out quite a few videos um, over this weekend in order to catch up with where I should be. And a couple of them might be vlogs. Some of them are going to be talking about things, showing off some stuff. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is I'm literally right now downloading spider-man miles morales on the playstation 4 i was watching some reviews last night and specifically comparisons between the ps5 and the ps4 version and the ps4 pro version now people are actually comparing the base ps4 version to the ps5 some people seem to forget the pro exists and apparently the difference between the pro and the 5 are marginal at best people are saying it looks a bit fluider fluider more fluid on the five um, some people are saying the difference is so negligible they can't even tell the difference long story short it doesn't matter what console you buy it for you get you get a decent experience the only thing i am going to say that's a little bit of a kick in the balls is it's not a full sequel now I don't necessarily expect a full sequel to a game that took five plus years to make. And this is only two years after the 2018 Spider-Man. I do not expect necessarily a full sequel. But it's 50 quid. It's £50 on the PlayStation 4. And in some places £65 on the PS5. Don't buy it for £65 by the way guys. You can find it. I was in Asda. Because I basically went to Asda because I got a voucher. Um, went to Asda to, um, to try and find the game physically. Didn't have it. So I just got a £50 um, PSN voucher for the Asda voucher. And then, of course, redeemed that. And I'm downloading it digitally. Do not buy it for £65. You can buy, find it for £48, £45 in some places if you look around. Do not buy it for £65. That is a... Ugh. I'm actually going to get into some of the upselling. I want to give my opinions on the release of this, the current... What is now the current generation. The PS5 and the Xbox Series line of consoles. Um, to me, it's a bit of a farce, if I'm being honest. There's no exclusive Xbox Series games... PS5, the only exclusive I think it has technically, as in retail games, is Demon Souls. Astro Playground, whatever it's called, comes with every PS5 and isn't a commercial title. You, you, know, you don't buy it from the shop or from a store. Um, and there's no exclusive, there's no exclusive um, games for the for the Xbox side of things. Now, some people are saying that long story short that ps5 and the xbox series consoles should have baked a bit longer so to speak some people are saying that and this is this is clutching at straws christmas tree some people are saying that sony and P and microsoft know that people are a bit short of money and aren't forcing people to upgrade i'm gonna go and deal with something right now and i'll be back and we can talk about some of this hi guys i'm back sorry about that just had to go uh deal with something i actually forgot that i've got this little setup going on i cleared some of my desk i put a stand on there so i could sort of put my phone on the stand and yes there's a light up christmas tree behind me there's quite infamous on my channel around the Christmas month. I would say months, but month for that matter. So you'll notice when there's any major shift in a generation or products that 
a lot of companies don't force you on to the next product. One of the main reasons is the install base of the previous item is so much bigger than the new item, and that's kind of why Mike Morales is available for both PS4 and PS5. Sony don't have to allow have a PS4 version. They could have gone the route to Demon Demon Souls and made it a PS5 exclusive. They could have, and maybe if they'd done that, they maybe would have gotten a few more sales out of the PS5. There would have, you know, a few more people be more likely to buy a PS5 for Miles Morales. Now, considering it's a bit of a more of a bite-sized episode or, or game than the previous game, which we'll get to in a minute. They they could have shifted a few more PS5s if they had decided to make it a PS5 exclusive. But they've decided to put it on the PS4 as well. Some people will turn around and say, oh, that's a very charitable or altruistic point, um, thing to do. Mm, no, it's more the install base. It's They want the game to sell well. And there are almost 100 million, maybe more than that now, PS4s out there. Whether it's the base PS4, the PS4 Pro. And of course they want the game to do well, so they can maybe make the sequel to this game or the last game, depending on your perspective of those things. And as a result, they put it on both platforms because the install base of the PS5 is tinsy, tinsy, tinsy compared to the PS4. There's actually a statistic that I saw a while ago and it put things into perspective. Before any major price cuts of any new consoles, the install base of that new console is 1% of the previous console. So people often wait for the first price slash, the first price cut. When that first price cut comes, a lot of people go out and buy the console. By then, the games are, they've worked out how to develop for the system, so the games are a bit better. They've got more exclusives for the system, and the, you know when they slash the price, they're like, yeah, more more inclined to, to go and pick up one of those systems. What on earth? You don't want to know. And I found that quite interesting. That until the first price cut, the new console only has a one percent install base comparative to the previous console. Obviously, that this changes depending on how many previous console sold if it's a decent successive successive successful console then the new one will have about a one percent percentile install base which is very interesting anyway that tangent was basically me getting to the point that i'm slightly annoyed that they are charging full price for what is a a load of people have said a kind of an episodic an epilogue to Spider-Man 2018 rather than a full-on sequel. Having said that, the main campaign does take about 20 hours to complete, which is about the same as Spider-Man 2018. Plus, there is a new game plus uh, element of Spider-Man Miles Morales that gives you a new suit and gives you more techniques for playing it a second time. Which, again, does it does give it more replay, replayability. And I will say, on that note, that Spider-Man 2018 has a lot of replayability. If you want to do the same thing over and over again, it does have replayability. You can just simply web swing around the city and random events will pop up, continually pop up. So once you've 100% of the game, you can still web swing throughout the city throughout New York and still, you know, do side missions and stuff like that or, or random encounters, whatever they're called in that game. And you can also replay any of the, like, set pieces, like you can, the base um, defences or invasions, whatever they are, where you've got to take down a, a hideout, a gang hideout, stuff like that. Um, so there's replayability in those games, so it being full-priced. What I'm trying to say is you do get your money's worth it's just a tiny bit of a bitter pill to swallow a full when it's a full price game when it's just a bit of a cherry on top to to the previous game however from what i've been told from what i've you know 
looked up, the quality of Mars Morales is on par with the previous the previous one. And it's kind of interesting because some people weren't particularly enamoured, over enamoured, with the DLC that came from the 2018 Spider-Man. So maybe this will whet their appetite a little bit more. So yes, this this is the tangent episode. I'm going to call this We've gone a bunch of tangents about the current generation of consoles. Um, and I would like to preface this by saying that some people are like, oh, you're, you're getting frustrated and angry about some of the things about the current generation. Just so I don't start to come off as a hypocrite later, because I know people are going to call me out on this, because they've done in the past. Yes, I'm already considering getting a PS5 and an Xbox Series X. I'm a gamer. I'm a tech head. I like new tech gaming. I want the most greatest and best thing that's out there. Can I necessarily afford it? No, there are ways I can get an Xbox. PS5 may take a bit longer to source the money for that, depending on depending on how things go. Does that does that make me a hypocrite? I don't know. I, I'm st- the thing with it is, I feel that especially on the internet, you're not allowed to share your frustrations about an item if you then just go out and buy the item anyway. It's like, I'm allowed to share my frustrations, but still be interested in wanting to get the item. I'm just like, Ugh, you know. And the other thing I'm, the other narrative, the other rhetoric I'm going for is I'm sort of advising you guys, don't be necessarily as stupid as me. Wait till the first pe- um, pay cut, uh, price slash, um, and go from there. Maybe that's the way of, um, the way of doing it. Anyway, this, this has been a bit of a tangent episode yeah going on a tangent i might call it yeah why not i'm gonna leave this video here and then i think the next video might be me reviewing friday the 13th part six which we'll see where things go um i may end up talking about spider-man you may see a random spider-man miles Morales video pop up on my channel more than likely you will be talking about that game yeah so i'll leave this video here um this video feels a little bit unfinished, but then, um, you know, in some ways, vlogs are supposed to be a bit unpolished in some respects. Anyway, guys, you take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra.